academy guys have come in this year um, and really added something to the squad. We've got the biggest squad I think we've ever had. A fairly new group, we've got a, new, a lot of new players. And there's some great individuals who have come in and, and really added to what we've already got. So the opportunity to pick up and work with the academy clubs, who's being released, see some young, talented guys that may be leaving the game, give them a chance in England's shirt and see if they make a pathway in sevens, then may back into fifteens. Yeah, that's very much the, uh, the, the reason behind it. I'm really pleased how it's gone this first year. The squad's almost doubled in size. Um, it's meant at training we can do a lot more things, there's a lot more variety and, and the actual competition for places is there, so you're always being constantly pushed to new levels. It's tough, it's, it's a big shock to the system once you've done four years at uni. Yeah, it's been tough, it's been really tough, but it's an enjoyable experience. Tough, real tough, uh, really hard to adapt to. Young guys, 18, 19, 20, 20 years old, suddenly have to train the levels of intensity they've had to train at. Uh, the first few weeks and months are tough times for them, but um, I mean, they've loved it and we're really pleased with the progress so many of them have made. Got a text saying, uh, hi Ethan, can we have a chat, Simon Amor, and I was like, is that the England Sevens coach? And sort of just a bit nervous, but it was a good chat. Let me know what was going on and got me down for a couple of sessions. It's a pretty good feeling, it's quite surreal. Like, I live in Twickenham, so um, used to go to the Sevens when I was a lot younger, watch like Dan Norton and that one on the pitch, but it's quite weird training for them now. Your body sort of, and your mind gets tested to the limits, but yeah, it's been, it's been great, I've loved it. We've almost got two groups of um, uh, two groups of players. The guys are James Rodwell's, Dan Norton's, they've done 50 odd kind of tournaments, and then some guys who literally only left school about four months ago. So it's a really interesting mix, but they all train together. They all pretty much live and breathe and do everything together. So it's a real close unit, and it's great to see some of the mentoring that goes on from the senior players trying to upskill the young guys. And the young guys got a long way to go, but there's certainly talent in there, and I think everyone's excited. Even.